Welcome back, everyone, to a brand new Lush Life video. I'm your host, Leon, joined here by the illustrious Mrs. Lush, my co-host and wife. And we're happy to have you back for another video. One of you guys recommended, I don't know whether it was on Twitter or in the comments, I can't remember, uh, watching MTV Silent Libraries. You know, we get a bit of a history watching very cringe early 2000s MTV shows. Yeah, we're due though. It's incredible to look back on what was considered entertaining back then. Honestly, quite frankly, it's kind of the same today with a lot of television shows. But this one is from... 2010 era. I think it aired for four seasons over two years and I'm not familiar with it. I looked it up and it's essentially the premise is they build a set and the whole point is there's uh, four people and you have to do an assortment of challenges while trying to remain as quiet, uh, quiet as possible. We thought we'd dive in on another cringy old MTV show. You guys seem to enjoy it, and I know I do, taking a blast from the past. Are you ready, dear? Yeah, I'm like only vaguely familiar with the show, so this will be a little bit new to me. I asked if you were ready. It's a simple yes or no. No. I'm just kidding. I love when you talk. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Six friends take the Angry Dog Challenge, Silent Library TV. You ready for this? I'm Zero Kazama. This is not a game show. This is Silent Library. Wow. Very that was serious. very, very yeah. serious. The reason that there's a bit of a Japanese theme in my, the Wikipedia I read it was based on, uh, they basically ripped a format from a Japanese game show. Very serious, Kazama. Why, why, what is the point of that? <laughs> Get wrecked. Riveting. The it's contestant all about the has 20 time. seconds to eat <laughs> cotton kidding. candy made with cayenne pepper, chili powder, and other strong spices. Okay, first of all, you know me. I know. I would eat the shit out of that. Yeah. <laughs> spicy cotton candy? Bro, take Sounds anything gross. that I loved as a kid and make it spicy, I'll love it as an adult. Chili powder is not particularly spicy. Cayenne no, pepper. Cayenne, is yes, absolutely. Pot. I'm always curious about how these things are made. Like, it's just like <laughs> sugar whipping around in there and it kind of like sticks to the. Look at it. It looks like a pile of dirt. <laughs> it looks like Dude, it looks like a hairball, bro. It looks like the stuff that comes out of your dryer vent. Honestly, it is. I'm just now realizing it is the neon colors that make a cotton candy look appetizing. Because if you gave me brown cotton candy, I would want to die. <laughs> yeah. Although it is still just air sugar, so it's probably delicious. No, no. Yes. <laughs> oh, this guy's just. At least it's super fluffy. Blech. I mean, this is, look at, this is literally all acting, right? Is it? I mean, it's just so dramatic. It, it's like early, it's like before YouTube was popular. You know how everything is overly dramatized on YouTube? Oh. Made for kids. It's like the same thing where they are probably the directors are like, oh, you, got, you guys have to all act like it's insane that he ate this little small piece of cayenne cotton candy and he's really suffering. Apparently there's a noise meter. Okay. I don't think they show ordeal it on screen. is worthwhile. You pass. Patrick's oh. spicy cotton candy helps the team taste victory. Nice they earn three hundred dollars to start the game. Would you do that for three hundred bucks? I would eat spicy cotton candy for free. Absolutely, it looks good. I mean, it, like, no. just color it. Put no. some food coloring in it. Make it pink. Give me pink, spicy cotton candy. I would destroy that. You know I like pink spicy things. Oh, I thought it was a dude. <laughs> That'd be too good. Yeah, that was, I guess it can be the same person if it's mm -hmm. randomized, yeah. Except they probably just cut it out and make them redo it, so it's not the same person Much every time. Much like gas. Much like gas. Are they gonna put them in a fart chamber? I was gonna say, they're gonna tie a gas mask to them and they're all gonna fart into a tube. The two. contestant okay. must come face to face with a foul-smelling whoopee cushion. Of course they had to have this dirty hillbilly bring it in. Oh my God, make him suck on it. Oh. I like how they put powder in it too to make it so dramatic. Look at the noise meter, dude. This, like, is it actually a noise meter or is that just like a a, a gif that they put on the screen? Okay. It's definitely like a, just a gif. This <laughs> is. <laughs> Technically, that's also that's a that pass. <laughs> What? That's literally like just living that's what in our you house. Look, it's, yeah. That's what you look like. <laughs> that's what I look like when, I, when I'm huffing my own farts. 
<laughs> Listen, I don't think it's too Every unusual. Time. No, it is. No, but I like you. Everyone loves the taste of their own brand. No. Right? Yeah. No. So if I lay a nice no. one. I like to scoop the soup to make sure I'm getting a nice taste of it before I wave it to you to make sure you get to enjoy it as well. My beef. Strong. <laughs> I don't see what's so unusual about that. If it comes out of my ass, I'm gonna enjoy it. All right, it's that. It, it, no, it's different when it's that. Okay. Farts though? Oh yeah, baby. No, you enjoy it like the look. I'll, I'll no. dot you in myself in bed. You I have like this to, look like of elation it. on your face when you're like literally wafting to yourself. What can I say? My father raised me right. In fact, if you watch this, he'd be turning over right now like with absolute horror. It's so funny though, because if it's someone else's, it makes me want to die. I can't stand yeah. it. Yeah, but if it's my own, I will, I will huff that until it it's gone. It is genuine, pure joy that comes to your face. Yes, absolutely. Two for two. Ryan smelt it, and the team has dealt a victory. They now have six hundred dollars <laughs> as the their total. In here. Ryan smelt it, and the team has dealt a victory. <laughs> Reap back. The contestant must keep two live gerbils in his underpants no. for thirty seconds. <laughs> no. You couldn't and, get me to do that for a couple hundred the bucks. There's no way. It looks like the contestant has accidentally sprouted a boner. <laughs> what, dude, gerbils? Come on. I'm not going to do anything. I don't know. I would, not, I would not do that. I would put those right next to each nut and let them go to town. It probably would be the coolest thing happening to my week. Holy shit. No. <laughs> no? All right. Well, let's see how let's see how my man does here. I feel basically like you couldn't, rodents, couldn't, get away, couldn't get away with this Ugh. with animal rights activism these days. No. They're like, they're in between another layer, dude. Like, they're not even up against your Johnson or your nutties. They're just okay, like. Man, I could do that. That's what I mean. They're just like, it's suffocating oh, in between multiple pairs of briefs. That's ridiculous. Uh, absolutely insane if they don't pass this test. And the best part is he's going to act like it's like, oh, 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 oh the dribble. Oh. It's just so fucking st awesomely stupid. <laughs> The guy saying shush is louder than anything. Like literally nothing's happening. Just take a deep breath, calm down. It's literally not touching your skin. Oh, they're peeking. They're peeking the gift meter. I wouldn't even touch it. The gerbil? I wouldn't even touch it. You wouldn't touch a gerbil? No. Is there anything that's not a human that has a heartbeat that you enjoy? Anything nope. You, no, there's nothing. I mean, I think Is it's kind of cool, like the baby gorilla at the zoo that we saw. You thought that was cool, the baby gorilla? I did. You thought he was cute? It was adorable. All right, there was a good start. <laughs> <laughs> My wife thought something was cute. There is, hold on a second. Is that a heartbeat I hear in there? <laughs> they dub you, they you. Oh, slow motion replay. That's just you were brave, ever seen it, but like. your team was, was too dumb. loud. Fail. You're brave, Nani, but your team was too loud. Fail. The street comes to an end. They wrap up round one with six hundred dollars. Round two, the money is raised. Each challenge is worth four hundred dollars. Oh. And remember, silence. <laughs> Begin. Silence. silence. Contestant must face the wrath of a samurai. He has to face a what? A samurai? <laughs> that looks like the actor from the show. It does. <laughs> if someone was to give me four hundred dollars to fall off a chair, you pass. That was terrible. It's so Dwayne stupid. Survived like, the attack. So maybe so the, the dumbest. Bring back the whoopee cushion. <laughs> bring back that fucking bomb in the whoopee cushion. I think at this point in time, like they were just. Like television networks were printing so much money that they're like, we can literally just copy paste all the stupid shows of all time and just make like, it doesn't even matter. People are gonna watch it. Now shit like this would never fly because they're already a dying brand. Does MTV even uh, exist anymore? Yeah, uh, but I have no idea. Yeah, it's probably all just like horse shit nonsense for 12 I actually girls. genuinely don't know. I couldn't tell you a single show that's on MTV. <laughs> Bra snaps. <laughs> so they're gonna put Bras. Are they gonna make him unclip this... a lady's bra? No, they're just gonna put bras on him and snap his back with it. And he has to... The contestant must have his That's bra funny. snap by each of his teammates. I'm. I I can't. You gotta love the belt over the goat look, just cause like you gotta wear your belt over the flop, makes it less. Ooh, that's a that's a tough. Okay, that's like all right. 
That that one would actually hurt. All right. Oh uh, no no no. I'm oh, sorry. They have a. a they put a rubber thing a over the metal. Rubber thing over the metal. Like what is even the point? Hey, let's do this thing that's supposed to cause you pain. That's the whole point, but make it way less painful. Come on. It would hurt more to put a rubber band on your wrist and snap it. Probably if the rubber thing's there, because that's the only like, that's the only impact point. You know what I mean? That's literally I'm mad the at only these impact people point. For yeah. being pathetic. Could not be any worse. I want to punch everyone in the face. And then the host, and then the writers, and the directors, the CEO of MTV, people that own televisions, anyone that's ever watched MTV, and then myself. <laughs> they all have to do it? Is he gonna scream? It's loose, it's not even tight on it. I know, it's not. <laughs> well done. Your pain pays dividends. You win. Patrick got snapped, so the team gets paid. $400 is added to their total. Honestly, Bumping. that's gonna be the best show hosting job of all time. The guy literally does nothing and occasionally they have to cut to him for a take of like, Here's your, your money. silence is rewarded. Here is your money. Here's your money. It's gonna be Fedora. It's definitely Fedora this time. Nope. Oh no, the, the skull and crossbones. The contestant must wear a helmet for 20 seconds as it fills with dead bugs. Oh, okay, so. This is like fear factor shit. How are these things like even in the same realm? Like get your bra snapped they're, they're, they're not, with they're, they're the not, metal covered. They're not. And then. They're so random and make no sense. Have dead bugs in your face. <laughs> like in an astronaut helmet. But Close your mouth, dude. Like that's what, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, you can hold your breath for 20 seconds. <laughs> you were brave, but your team was too loud. Fail. Get wrecked, bitch. Fedora hasn't gone yet, has he? Nah. No. Hopeful no punch bike? That's too many words that don't a, make sense. That's a lot of things that don't make sense at all. <laughs> the contestant must spend 30 seconds riding a bicycle what? that what? punches him in the face as he pedals. <laughs> They're like, hey, this will be funny for the jackass crowd, right? <laughs> we love this. Hey guys, that's what I look like on my Peloton in the morning. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my God, is this real? Look at the like the flimsy ass glove. Like, it's not there's even no hitting way them. That's I'm even mad. Doing I'm mad at this whole show, and I hate it, and I'm bullshit. Who did they get to engineer that thing? First of all, but it doesn't even hit you. I mean, wow, what a brave. You were brave, and for that, you're rewarded. Your humiliation brings success. <laughs> uh, can we get another take on that? A little more stoic, please? <laughs> it's gotta be Fedora, right? Same guy, dude. All right, I think you're, um... Maybe they are doing it by chance? I think you're... I don't believe theory it. Theory about it being rigged is incorrect. I the whole show is real. <laughs> yeah, every part of this is just completely off the cuff. No production at all. Stomach that guy mouth. actually got a bloody nose and they just couldn't put it on there. Yeah, he, yeah. he, he got broke, hurt so bad. He deviated his septum. The other guy on the right with the bra snaps is just like lost a pint Stomach of blood. Stomach melt? Oh boy. <laughs> the contestant must eat a homemade grilled cheese sandwich. What in the What? Hell? Well, someone's f oh. <laughs> Someone's stomach hair and sweat yeah, on dude. it? No. This is good. This was very early 2000s and late 2000s, like having to do things off of fat people because, like, fat people are gross, right? <laughs> that's the that's what they're insinuating. Okay. I've seen enough. That is actually pretty lit. Okay. Would you do it? There's a lot of other things I'd rather do first, but yeah. At this point in my life, no. 10 years ago, sure. <laughs> there needs to be a lot more money on the line for me to eat a, a fat, hairy cheese sandwich. What if it was like a skinny girl with like ripped abs? Yeah, I, I'd pay to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's like, that's kind of the underlying tone to of me, this. To me, I'm not like, gonna lie, it's the hair. Yeah, 100%. That, that's what I was gonna say. Why did it have to be a big fat guy? It could have been like a jacked guy that was just hairy. 
they're playing on this underlying theme of like, ooh, gross. But even if it was a jacked guy that was hairy, like the hair would still gross me out extremely. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, It's yeah. only the hair that matters to me too. Blah, blah, blah. Eat the whole thing. Oh. oh. Like the question is, did it? You just gotta not think The about question it. is, did it even get any hairs in it? It was pretty melty on there. There's no way it didn't get at least something. I don't know. Like you don't shed body hair nearly as much as head hair, though. Yeah, but you like when I mean? you're pulling sticky cheese off of it. Uh. And the guy like smeared it. Yeah, hair, like eating hair, hair and food in your mouth is gross. It's so it's the funniest thing because hair, when it's on your head, is beautiful and illustrious, and we covet it, and we have a million ways to style it. Uh, and the second it leaves your body and um, gets close to your mouth, it makes you want to die. Yeah. Which is very weird because it lives close to your mouth. Such a strange psycho yeah, psychology yeah, behind that whole thing, right? My dude, just crush that grilled cheese. <coughs> Excuse me, that dryer cheese. Hair that Hair was impressive. Cheese. That was. The money's yours. Impressive. You. Dwayne continues to dominate the third round. Very fat I, I don't cheese think sandwich. I pull that one off. For a total of 3000 Final round. I haven't forgotten. Silencio Fedora Bruno. Guy. Silencio Bruno. Fedora guy. Here he goes. I'm telling you. I'm going to be right one of these days. I will every He's too busy doing the countdown. Hey, Fedora guy. He's too guy. busy doing the... That's right, yeah. He's the leader of the countdown. Your challenge, take off your fedora. <laughs> Angry dog. Maybe they just have a German Shepherd coming and he's the piss out of him. That'd be so funny. Oh, he took his hat off. Oh my gosh. He beat the challenge. The contestant real, must be shot with a, a pair of dog. hot dog guns. Oh, for Christ's sake. No. I'd say get rid of that face mask and catch it in those chops. See how far down I can go. That does not hurt. Not even it a doesn't hurt. Um, a Nerf gun hurt wor hurts worse than that. It's, it's, hot dogs are kind of dense, and depending how much air pressure They're there rubbery. is in that. Oh. There's no... Oh. Okay, that could hurt a little bit. That thing exploded pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nah. I feel like that could hurt a little bit. Not a lot. Hot dogs are pretty dense. We not enough that you... Should we test this? You want to take a hot dog to the chest? Sure. <laughs> For 800 bucks. <laughs> Split between six people. There's only two of us here. Yeah, Jackson counts as four. <laughs> I'll put it in his piggy I bank. see no reason to punish you further. You win. You win. Virgil withstood the Come dog on, attack, on ending the day with a thousand dollar victory for a grand total of four thousand. Probably not. Congratulations, guys! You survived Silent Library, and wow. you won some cash. Six hundred sixty-seven dollars per player. Wow. Pretty good. Not bad for a day at the library. You'd do all that for 660 bucks? I would not eat the sandwich. Yeah. Silence! Silence! Yeah, stupidest shit of all time. I'm, no. Never again. I thought will it couldn't get worse. That's enough cringe for one day for me. Thank you yeah. very much. I'm going to wrap this up as fast as possible. Whoever recommended we watch that, Take I us hope home. you get a flat <laughs> tire on the way home from work <laughs> because that was awful. But as always, Without fail, we appreciate your company and just kind of like a laid back vibe here watching a show together. Thanks for joining us. Uh, boy, old MTV days. What a time to have been alive. Sure that, was. That channel could not die any sooner, in my opinion. Honey, thanks for joining me and being by my side as my co-host and wife. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.